how, how is glutathione produced inside of the cells? What, what is that process? So the process that involves uh, the individual three amino acids. They get taken up by the cell. They're delivered by the, the blood, uh, become available mm -hmm. to the cell. Once inside the cell, uh, the, the three building blocks, so that's glutamic acid, cysteine, and glycine, are then sequentially put together to form glutathione. And that system involves two enzymes, so two catalysts that will take, first of all, the first enzyme will take um, uh, glutamate and cysteine and join them together to form gamma glutamyl cysteine. And then the second enzyme, so that first enzyme is called uh, um, glutamate cysteine ligase. Mm -hmm. And then the second enzyme called glutathione synthetase will add glycine to the gamma glutamyl cysteine to form glutathione. And both those enzymes um, require energy to form mm -hmm. the reactions, and that's provided in ATP, so, so it's a, which is the, the energy source of, um, uh, that, that drives biological so reactions. Mitochondria produce this energy. Mitochondria are responsible for generating the vast majority of the energy. So mitochondria are central <clears throat> to the production of the uh, enzymes functioning properly. That's right. Yes. But at the same time, mitochondria, uh, through their activity, create a need for those enzymes to function properly so that they can That's result right. in, my, in yes. glutathione. Yes. So, yeah, as a byproduct, uh, mitochondria are producing these free radicals mm -hmm. uh, and these free, re generally ROS, reactive oxygen species, and they need to be neutralized. Otherwise, I'll go around wreaking havoc on the inside of the cell. That's quite a remarkable mm. situation. Going it is. It's a fine, these. finely balanced. It's finely balanced from the needs of generating energy mm -hmm. and, uh, and the consequences of generating that energy, the side effect of you know, this oxidation that needs to be controlled. So the, the two enzymes are mm. the limiting factors. The first one to join glutamate and cysteine together. Yes. The second to add the glycine uh, to form the ultimate glutathione. Yeah, glutathione. And if <clears throat> that second enzyme mm. is inadequate or broken or in some other way dysfunctional, then the only way for the cell to produce glutathione is uh, to uh, consume gamma glutamyl cysteine. Mm. Is that correct? Well, the, uh, the problem is, is the, uh, the first enzyme the first enzyme, uh, the first enzyme that, that's, that controls how much do you see. It, it's influenced by glutathione. It's uh, to get the homeostasis set point. So every cell, you don't want to, if you have all the enzymes, you have all the substrate, if there's no regulatory control, it'll keep on making glutathione and, you know, until it runs out of something. Right. We don't want that. We want to have, you know, the right level of glutathione at all times to control the rate of, um, you know, free radicals that are being generated. Uh, we want to have a, a system that can respond to exposure to toxins. And so the way, the way it works is that glutathione at mm -hmm. a particular homeostatic set point will influence the activity of the first enzyme. Okay. And so when it's at the right level, the activity is zero. It doesn't, so it doesn't work. the first enzyme well, is the limiting factor. It's, it's the regulatory control one. It's the, it's the one that dictates what the glutathione levels will if be. If the cysteine and the glutamate make it through <clears throat> the first phase to form gamma glutamyl cysteine, mm. uh, if all that is working, is the second enzyme also The limited? second enzyme is not under any regulatory control, so uh, providing there's enough um, gamma glutamyl cysteine there and enough glycine, it will all be converted into uh, glutathione. So gamma glutamyl cysteine synthesis, synthetase is the second enzyme. But glam glutamate cysteine ligase, it does, it, does ha it does have another name, gamma glutamyl um, cysteine synthetase. Um, that's the first one. That's the first one. The yeah. second one is called? Glutathione synthetase. Okay, and that's the second one that is not the blockage. It's, it's not the problem, no. The first one. The first the one. The glutamate cysteine glutamate... Uh, Glutamate cysteine ligase. I know, it's, it's, it's pretty go. hard. We call it GCL. If GCL, you want to, GCL. Okay. <laughs> so GCL is what you need for GGC. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. that, and if your GCL is not functioning properly, you don't have enough GGC, and as a consequence, you don't have enough glutathione, and then well, you're in trouble. You